What's up, everybody? 509 athlete Ross Robinson here, but you best be calling me Roscoe, and I present to you episode one of the SLED update. Now, on this little video series, you're going to hop on board with me. We're going to hop into some of the 509 athletes and the Snowmobile World social media, check out what's been going on the past month, month and a half leading up to the season. Make sure you guys are caught up on all the SLED news. Now, let's dive into it and have some fun. That's going to be a sick intro when 50, the 509 team like gives us the go-ahead for this. Now, snow usually falls first in British Columbia. We're not happy about it down here in the U.S. We always want it. And this year, it's especially hard because we can't get up there to go chase it with you guys. And thanks to this video from Cody McNulty, flying through the air, windshield wiper across the goggles in full deep snow mode, I've had to have this conversation with every single snowmobiler I've ran into. Man, Ravi sure looks good this year. Man, sure wish I could get up to BC. Have you seen the videos from Canada? I'd love to get up to British Columbia, but I just can't get across the border. It's sweet to go have some power right now. Me and my boys are usually up in BC this time of year. You're looking deep up in Canada. Dang, wish we had snow like that. Well, I I don't know if there's snow like that anywhere else in the world right now. I'd love to be up in Canada right now. So Cody, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I love having those conversations. Now, of course, the 509 rider of the year, he can't just stop at the pow turns. He's got to go hit big cliffs in the trees in early season like he does. That is one calculated. I'd call him a madman, but he's beyond that. He's more of a scientist at this point. <laughs> Now for this one, you have to look closely. Our good friend Brett Turcott is reminding us why he is a multi-time X Games medalist who loves to bring his tricks to the backcountry with this stylish one-footed can. I see you, Brett. Wish I could slay the pow with you boys up there this year. And then this rolls across my feed. Enter professional downhill skier, as in two planks, no motor, downhill skier, Logan Piotta. <laughs> Must have been that 509 helmet, am I right? And you wonder why they have me making this video. That's why. Because we got Logan out there getting absolutely twisted upside down early season. Did I mention he was a professional skier? Now BC got the snow early, but snow has hit the Western United States and America's favorite wild man, Caleb Kosturki. Well, he's flying through the air. He's been prepping all fall long, hitting jumps to turf, getting ready to bring his tricks to the backcountry, which he's already doing so. And then he obviously took his work to the trees. He's got his downhill hopovers in the mix. Now this is a maneuver that you're gonna be seeing a lot more athletes, riders implementing into their uh, bag of tricks. And it's a good one to have. Give him the horns, Caleb. You can even see me here implementing that downhill hop over. I got it too, sometimes on a good day. Now we're gonna rewind a little bit before the snow had really started to fall. Not winter, not fall, but a new season that has emerged over the last handful of years. A season that us soul builders, we call build season. And there's one man, he's not a 509 athlete anymore, but can't deny his builds are the most ridiculous. The king of lightweight, whatever you want to call him, Barant is back at it again with this 660-146 cut tunnel titanium carbon fiber, 369 pound little monster he built. And you know who he built it for? His 11-year-old son, Strider. Now, as crazy and ridiculous as that snowmobile is, it might not be the snowmobile that we should be the most excited about for 2021. Because this next snowmobile, you can actually have the opportunity to not only win it, but help out a great cause in the meantime. Now, we lost a legend last year in Rob Kincaid, longtime 509 athlete, and his riding partner, David McClure, and his mechanic, Jason Nethercott, have put together an absolutely ridiculous sled. I give you the Rob Kincaid Dream Sled Raffle. This thing is wild. Now, Rob and Dave have been known to build some crazy cats over the years with their superchargers, and this one is no exception. This one's probably even one step above. No detail has been left unturned with this thing, and you can enter to win this snowmobile. It's going to travel around the west. It's going to be at some of the hill climbs. It's going to be at dealers here or there popping around. You can see it. Enter to win. We're going to leave the link in the description of this video uh, for, for that raffle. You can go check it out and enter to win. Now, all proceeds from that raffle are going to go to Avalanche Education and um, Awareness. They're also going to go to the Kincaid family, support them over there as 
we do in the snowmobile community, trying to continue to band together. Now this is one bad snowmobile that you can actually win. Now as snow hit the west, POW videos surfaced and the snowmobiles went under the surface. Sound a lot better in my head. But Ken Block, everybody's favorite rally cross, Jim Conn, a madman behind the wheel, got behind a set of bars with a star-studded crew, including Dan Adams, Tony Jenkins, and 509 athlete Jay Menaberry, of course. And I know Jay, and Jay likes to do two things. He likes to get sideways, as he did in this photo here. And then he likes to also enter a little place he calls the white room. Snorkels required. Jay, save some pow for the rest of us, my guy. I want to get involved in some of this. Now, Jay also got his hands on the limited release ether mono suit. And as you can see in this post, in text and also in action, it's passing with flying colors. It's got new tech, new features. I'm excited to get my hands on mine. Now, if you've been sleeping on your gear set until now, there's still some of these limited run ethers in stock at ride509.com. Go check them out. Maybe grab yourself one and maybe you too can slay like our boy Jay. Dude, I got bars up in here. But it doesn't stop there. Let's take a quick flight up to Alaska where AK Sled Junkie Jeff Dennis 509 Ambassador Good Timing Dude has just got the goods. And good Lord, that is deep snow. Just, oh my, oh. It's just flat out deep snowmobiling. That's borderline not fun, too deep to ride your snowmobile snow. But for some reason, we all dream about it. And I'm dreaming about it right now. Enjoy it up there, boys. Send some more our ways. And lastly, that brings me to me. Well, what are you doing, Roscoe? I'm spending way too much time editing Instagram reels now that I can use music on the platform again and uh, trying to ride my snowmobile, getting cast to do videos like this for one of my favorite sponsors, 509, and hopefully bring a little bit of entertainment to you guys. I hope you enjoyed episode one of... I already forgot what I called this thing. Ah, the sled update. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed episode one of the sled update. I look forward to seeing you very soon with more social madness from the 509 team and beyond. Enjoy the new 509 web series. I don't know what we're calling them, but the videos are coming or they're probably live already. You can check them out up here or down here, wherever the team wants to put them. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but that's all I have for you. Roscoe signing off. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.